Jennifer Blanchard here with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. How is the market in Basking Ridge? Are people still buying and selling in this environment? Stay tuned to find what out. What I want to tell you, I want to give you an inside peek into what's going on in Basking Ridge in particular from a market activity perspective. So I pulled all the data from, I just picked March, 9th, March 15th, so the middle of March. Since then, we've had 22 new listings. Plus we have another three that are coming soon. That's 25 new listings. There are people out there who are still considering, still wanting to put their house on the market and get it sold. To show those properties, we have protocols. We are doing it safely. That is super important for the people who live there, for the people who are looking at the houses, for the realtors, the inspectors, the attorneys. We have all sorts of protocols in place to do it safely. So there were, so look at that. So there were 22 new listings. There were 31 sales, 31 contract sales. 31 people made an offer on a house, had it negotiated, had it accepted, went into attorney review, and then went under contract. Some of those might have been in play prior to March 15th, but still, people are moving forward. And there were 18 closings. Again, those probably um, went under contract earlier. So there's another segment of the market that um, this might be a term that's new to you, and that's called shadow inventory. Shadow inventory looks at properties that are kind of lurking in the shadows. Sellers who think they might want to sell might be coming on the market soon. That's hard to estimate because I know who I'm working with as a potential seller, but all the other listing agents, they're not telling me who they're working with. But um, so there's shadow inventory that we do not know about, but then there's also shadow inventory that we do know about, right? So there's um, a status field in the MLS. So you know when something is available, you know when it's under contract, you know when it's sold. As a realtor, I also know when a property was withdrawn from the market permanently, when it was withdrawn from the market temporarily, and when it came off the market because their contract with their listing agent expired. So right now, and so you can, you can be pretty sure that those houses that have those statuses will at some point in time come back on the market. Right now there's 36 properties that are hovering in our shadow inventory. I have a pretty good reputation with the other realtors who have pretty good reputations as well. Basically what I'm saying is I, I have a very good network. And if some of those listings that are in the shadows might be something that might be of interest to you, I can make a phone call. And I can call the, the, the realtor who had that property listed. Or if it's expired, I could even call the homeowner. And we can see, maybe we can get you in there. Maybe we can use that relationship to, um, to give you an advantage. So as I started this call with, what I want to say is all of this information can be overwhelming. I don't know how many times in the last couple of days I've looked at my husband and I've said, I am on information overload. There is so much out there. I don't want to contribute to that but I do want to make sure you have what you need. So please, please reach out to me, reply back to this email. If that's how you got this video, message me on Facebook, call me on the phone, however you need to reach me, do it. And we'll get on a zoom call. We'll get on a FaceTime call. We'll look at each other face to face. I'll share some information. You can ask me your questions and hopefully we will all get through this together. Actually, I'm not even going to say, hopefully we will get through this together. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.